Hey guys, how's it going? Mar here. Guys, I wanted to talk about military boots. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of military boots. I have a lot of friends of mine that always ask me if I have an extra pair or do I have an old pair I want to sell. Um, you know, and I want to tell you guys about something that's going on that you guys will be seeing pretty much in all your retail stores and all the retail uh, stores that deal with surplus and uh, uh, military surplus. Um, and that is that the uh, the army is changing their uniform again. Yes, again in the uh, 17 plus years I've been in in the military and the U.S. Army, uh, we changed our uniform. Uh, let me just show you guys real quick what the uniform looks like. Uh, this is the new uniform. This is the uh, OCP or Scorpion type of pattern. I really feel that this uh, this new uh, camouflage will be a good, a much better. Um, a much better uh, camouflage for what we need in the military. Uh, right now, the, the gray uniform is not the greatest, especially when you go into into areas of a lot of vegetation because you stand out. So um, as as we start going into this new phase, um, obviously with that new uniform, you got to buy new boots. And for all you guys that know anything about military uniforms and boots, they are fucking expensive. <laughs> They're very expensive, guys, because you're not only buying the 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 uh, the uniform you're buying the patches and name tapes and all the other stuff that you need and of course you're buying new boots and most boots guys military boots um, they all average but they're all between uh, 150 to almost 300 dollars they're not cheap and it all depends on the type of uh, the type of quality that you want or what uh, the, what kind of features each boot has? Uh, of course, the more expensive ones are the Gore-Tex type, which are the uh, weatherproof and waterproof, uh, cold weather type of boots. They have a tendency to be more expensive than, let's say, a summertime boot. And I'll explain to you that real quick. But um, so I wanted to show you guys real quick what we used to have or what we're going to be uh, phasing out pretty soon, which is the uh, the old desert boot here, the old desert tan boot. Now, this is a great boot, guys. Uh, we used this uh, back in Iraq when we went into the old desert uniforms. Uh, we used, So basically, this, uh, this type of boot has been in service for about uh, 12 to 14 years, something like that. So it's been a great boot. It's done the job. Um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of these boots are going to be getting phased out because of the new uniform that's coming in. Uh, I believe the old ACU uniform is going to be good until the end of 2018 or mid uh, 2019 and after that it's going to be phased out completely so a lot of these boots are going to end up uh, uh, being uh, being drastically cut in price now I'm going to tell you guys why why this is going to be a good sell or a good buy for you guys now I, I know a lot of you guys are avid hikers um, you guys are all hunt uh, you know hunt and, and, and do a lot of fishing and all kinds of stuff this is a great boot for a lot of those purposes guys and it could be an everyday boot. It doesn't just have to be a straight hunting boot. Now, I know you guys sometimes say, well, why am I paying $300 for a hunting boot when I'm only going to use it two, three times a year, right? Well, with this type of boot, guys, you guys can use it pretty much year round. You know, some people like it as a fashion statement. I don't know. Whatever you may like or or whatever this, this type of, comp, uh, this type of uh, boot can provide for you, it'll definitely help you. It'll definitely protect your feet a lot better. I know some of my friends that do construction uh, or are carpenters and stuff like that where they don't require a steel toe. Uh, they love military boots. And those are, those are my friends that have a tendency of always asking me whether I have these boots or not. So let me show you what we're going into, guys. So this is uh, the new boot that we're going into. It's more of a coyote tan color uh, type of boot. Uh, so this is more of a mid-level uh, mid type of uh, boot. What I consider mid-level is that it could be either a summer boot or a winter boot. Uh, and this is a summer boot, guys. It's more the uh, jungle uh, jungle boot type of uh, style here. As you guys can see, it's got a, a lighter uh, mesh on the top. So it's easier for you to breathe, especially in hot days. And I have the old ripple soles here. And that's just for me. I prefer the ripple soles, especially when I'm doing a lot of uh, rucking or you know hiking, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, it's just easier on my feet, and that's what I like about it. Um, so what's great about a military-style boot, guys, and this is the same features that you'll find on the desert. You'll find it on this. They all have great soles. 
most of the good companies will always have a vibrant soul in here, okay? Uh, these are all great, great souls. Uh, they're probably the, the best ones in the market. Um, they also have a tendency of having great uh, uh, grip in areas where you really need it, especially on the toe area, the heel area, and also in between here. Um, if you guys notice that there's a cut on most military style boots, that's because uh, these are also used for people that are fast roping down helicopters and stuff like that. That is the purpose of it. But another great thing about it is that it has like a metal piece in here in between. That is to give you better support uh, for uh, for your everyday walking that you may be doing. Uh, so another great thing about it is that it has good uh, uh, good breathing, got good nice little breathing ports in here, uh, and it's and it's easier to use. It's lighter. Um, it has a tendency of lasting you a long, long time compared to most regular hiking shoes or, or, or tennis shoes that you may have. Um, so that's what I like about um, a lot of these boots here. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about care. How do you take care of these suede type of boots now, guys? Back in the day when I first started in the military, we used to use the black leather boots, right? That tells you how long I've been in. But, you know, signs, of, you know, changes of the time, signs of times, you know, the Army decided to go into a, a different type of boot. Now, with the suede uh, here, suede type of boot here, you, you're going to need a Scotch guard. What is exactly what I would tell you. It's like a spray-on Scotch guard, and I would tell you to put that on there before you even use your boots, right? Um, also, buy yourself the suede cleaning kit. Uh, this will definitely help you, especially when you start getting smudges and little things that you start using the boot. Um, some people like to put the scotch guard or some people don't like it because they say it takes longer for you to break in the boot to each his own. I've always think that I'd rather put the scotch guard on no matter what and make sure that I protect the suede before um, I decide to use the boot. Um, so those are things that I would tell you guys to do. Now let's talk about some of the things that you want to look at in a boot whenever you're buying one. You want to make sure that it has uh, metal, metal hardware here. You know, good metal hardware, and that it uses a good nylon uh, type of shoelace. Now, one thing I like about the nylon shoelace is that it has a tendency of lasting a long time. In the 17 plus years that I've been in the military, guys, I've only broke two uh, bootlaces. That just tells you how how sturdy these damn things are. And of course, they're easy to replace. Two bucks at the uh, local exchange or shoe place, you know, and you got yourself a new uh, new laces for your boots, and you're good to go. Um, another great thing that I like about uh, boots is that they're so much lighter than uh, what you would consider. Like if you if you would think of my old leather boots, trust me, these things are half the weight of those, um, and they and they do last you a long time. Um, now I know that there's a, a lot of you guys that are big into hunting and all that, um, and I, and I know you guys consider uh, maybe going into a hunting boot or something like that. But with the changes that we got going on right now, guys, I think this is a, a, a great uh, advantage for you guys to go into maybe a military-style boot. And um, I also want to tell you guys that you guys should definitely go with a military company. I mean, a mil American company. I'm sorry about that. Uh, an American company. And the reason why I decided, and I'm telling you, not, I'm telling you this is, I'm not trying to be uh, a patriot here, although I am, and I, and I love my country, and I. I love our American companies, but the big advantage of an American company compared to, let's say, a Chinese or whatever other country may make uh, military boots is that a lot of our companies have been making these types of boots for years. I mean, we're talking, some of them have been making them as, as long as, you know, World War II, uh, and uh, they know how to make a good boot. They know what works, and a lot of these are already DOD approved, which is Department of Defense approved. A lot of these uh, have been inspected by DOD uh, inspectors, and they meet all the criteria that the uh, Department of Defense wants. So that's the reason why I would tell you guys to go with an American company versus a Chinese knockoff. Oh, another thing I want to talk about real quick is that do not buy a boot with a zipper. Now, I know a lot of you guys have seen that, and it looks cool because it's easy for you to access in and out. But think about it. The reason why the military doesn't go uh, with a zipper on the side is that, uh, you know, it has a tendency of not 
has a tendency of ripping in the long run because if you're doing this with your boot all the time or you're walking and it's constantly moving back and forth or whatever the case may be, there's only so much that zipper is going to take. Also, because we uh, we have a fire retardancy on our, I don't know if I said that right, uh, on our on a lot of our equipment. Uh, for the longest, I used I used to be in tanks, so a lot of our stuff needed to be fireproof or whatever the case would be, just in case there was an accident inside of the tank. Uh, so that was the reason why the military never uses that because if this thing has a tendency of burning on you it will melt onto your skin and that's exactly what you don't want so because this is nylon it has a tendency of burning and not sticking to your skin so I hope that kinda makes sense to you guys and that's the reason why we don't use zippers on our boots um, I know you've seen them on the military style boot but uh, something for you guys to consider if you decide to go with a with a military style boot now let's talk about companies guys the companies that I would highly highly suggest to you guys would be Bates. Bates has been making boots for the longest man. They are one of the oldest companies. Danner is another great company. Uh, Corcoran, I believe it's called. Corcoran makes a badass jump boot that's badass. It's probably one of the best boots ever. Um, of course, you got the McRae's. McRae's makes really good boots. Uh, Altamas. Altamas is another company that makes uh, really outstanding boots, guys, that, that really work. Of course, uh, Velville. Velville is another company that uh, that uh, makes really good boots, and it's actually a DoD contractor. Um, Rockies. Rockies. I think a lot of you guys that that know anything about you know hunting boots or anything like that, or even military boots, uh, you would say that Rockies are probably some of the best ones out there. They're expensive as hell, but um, they do the job. Now there's a lot of companies out there, dude. There's there's Five Eleven, there's um, there's Oakleys, there's Under Armour, there's Reebok, there's I think even Nike's making a military style boot. And I would not I would not tell you guys that they're not they're not bad um, boots, but I have a tendency of thinking that those they they got into the military boot uh, uh, market because they started seeing how how profitable they are but in reality a lot of those companies most of those boots are not made in the US they're made in China and I'm telling you guys from experience Chinese knockoffs or Chinese made boots hurt your feet and that's the reason why I would always tell you guys to go with an American company when it comes to military boots so uh, you know be on the lookout for a lot of these a lot of these boots guys because they're gonna be going on sale like crazy because as, as the Army is phasing out the old uniform, the ACU uniform, uh, they will be uh, going to uh, the uh, new OCP uniform. Um, these boots are going to end up becoming a, a really good bargain and a good value for you. So just something for you guys to keep in mind. And uh, I hope this kind of helps you guys with, uh, with uh, you know, maybe purchasing a, a new pair of boots and, uh, you know, helping you with uh, maybe saving some money because... You know, whenever you save some money, you can always buy something else like ammo or gear that you might need. Or, you know, you can always put that little extra money in the banks, which is always helps, guys. So I hope you guys got something out of this. Like always, guys, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And I'm out.